Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see Oracle Land in C Golden Gate concept and architecture overview. In my previous video, I have already demonstrated Oracle Land in C installation steps on top of Oracle Land in C database. Post in this video, we are going to see Oracle unit uh, Oracle Legacy Golden Gate uh, concept uh, like uh, unit directional replication in my next video. Okay, let's go to this uh, tutorial. Getting started with Oracle Golden Gate or Oracle Landing C. Replicating data between databases in a timely fashion can be a surprisingly tricky thing to do. There are many ways to replicate data from home room code and database trigger based solution to Oracle streams, metalized views over database links and several third party replication products such as Dell, Shareplex and DB Visit Replicate. The more timely and resil uh, resili resilient you want to your solution to be, the harder it becomes to the implement. Okay. Introduction Golden Gate enables us to extract and replicate data across a variety of topologies as shown the diagram below as well as the exchange and manipulation of data at the transactional level between a variety of database platforms like Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, Ingress, MySQL and etc. Et okay. Here it is the diagram unidirectional way reporting instance, bidirectional instance, failover, active active, peer to peer, load balancing, high availability and broadcast data distribution, consolidation, data warehouse mock, store, cascading, stability, database tire. Okay. In my next video, we are going to see that unidirectional reporting instance only. Okay. That uh, there is one way replication. We are going to see. And Oracle Golden Gate is a comprehensive software package for enabling the replication of data in heterogeneous environments. The product set enables high availability solutions, real-time data integration, transactional change data capture, data replication, transformations and verification between operational and the analytical enterprise system. Here it is a golden gate architecture diagram. You can see the data source for initial load source tables data source for change synchronization transaction log and vendor access module so extract process and then here it is manager process running over the network the manager process on the target side running initial load and the replicate process running and target tb it's replicating that source tables onto the target table so here it is that extract is optional data pump Pump process, extract process, and also that pump process also data pump process also running and manager three processes are running here and collector initial load and here in the source side collector process and trial files and replicate and target TB it's already updating and replicating the data source for change synchronization transaction log or vendor access model like that are, are the source tables will be replicated on the target TB so, so it is initial load. This is change synchronization. We are going to see this method only. Okay. Oracle and C Golden Gate support and features. So, Oracle Golden Gate can support a number of uh, different business requirements like business continuity and high availability, data migrations and upgrades, decision support system and data variation, data integration and consolidation. Let's see at the different level of components and the process that make up your Typical golden configuration on Oracle Landing C. First of all, the first process is the manager process. The manager process must be running on both the source as well as the target system before the extract or replicate process can be started and performs a number of functions including monitoring and starting other golden gate process, managing the trial files and also reporting. Okay. First process is running on the either side, like both sides, the manager process must be running on both sources, target side. And next, the extract process. The extract process runs on the source system and is the data capture mechanism of Golden Gate. 
it can be configured both for initial loading of the source data as well as synchronize the changed data on the source with the target this can be configured to also propagate any ddl changes on those database where ddl chain support is available okay and another process like replicate the replicate process runs on the target system target side and reads transactional data changes as well as the ddl changes and replicates them to the target database like the extract process the replicate process can also be configured for initial load as well as the change synchronization okay the collector process the collector process is a background process which is run in the target system and is started automatically by the manager dynamically collector it or it can be configured or a start manually statistic statistic uh, collector it receives extracted data changes that are sent via tcp ip and writes then to the trial files from where they are processed by the replicate process okay and another uh, files uh, process like trials trials are series of files that golden gate temporarily stores on disk and these files are written to and read from the by the extract and replicate process as the case may be depending on the configuration chosen this file trial files can exist on the source as well as the target system if it is exist on the local system it will be known an extract trial or as in a remote trial if it is exist on the target system so clear it will be known as uh, if it is exist on the local system i mean that source system it will be known as extract trial or as in a remote trial or as a remote trial if it is exist on the target side target system okay and data pump process the data pump process are secondary extract mechanism which is exist on the source configuration which, which is source side it will be configured as this is optional component and if data pump is not used then the extract send data via tcp ip to the remote trial on the target okay so it's a optional process if it is not uh, configured that the extract sends the data via tcp ip to the remote trial on the target side okay when data pump is configured the primary extract process will write to the local trial and then this trial is read by the data pump and the data is sent over the network to remote trial and the target system clear in the absence of data pump the data that the extract process extract resides in the memory alone and there is no storage of this data anywhere on the source system in case of network of target failures there could be cases where the primary extract process can abort and abandon data pump can also be useful in those cases where we are doing complex filtering and the transformation of data unless when we are consolidating data from many sources to a central target okay so data pump process is optional but it's uh, if it is right, if it is there means should be very good okay data source when processing transactional data changes the extract process can attend data directly from the database transaction logs oracle db2 sql server mysql etc or from your golden gate vendor access model vam where the database vendor for example teradata will be will provide the required components that will be used by extract to extract the data changes all right then groups to differentiate between the number of different extract and replicate groups which can potentially coexist on a system we can define processing groups for instance if we want to replicate different sets of data in parallel we can create two replicate groups okay a processing group consists of process which could be either extract or replicate process a corresponding parameter file checkpoint file or checkpoint table of for replicate and other files which could be associated with the process all right hope you all understand which is the golden gate architecture process and groups okay article 19c golden gate unidirectional unidirectional replication 
In Oracle Golden Redirectable Replication allows data workflow in an one direction from source to target only. Source system Golden Gate extract group capture the changes information from either read log files or archive log and forward Oracle Golden Gate trials to the remote system. And the replication group apply the transaction to the target database keeping the two databases synchronized. Replication between two databases requires the setting of the manager extract and pump process on the source databases and setting up the manager and replicate process on the target databases. Okay, this is the one way replication like unidirectional report uh, replication for reporting instance. Okay. Unidirectional replication, the server requirement and software installation on both the source and target server side. Here it is in my case. I am going to demonstrate uh, in my next video on the source database server Oracle Linux 8.2, which is yesterday. I had, uh, I mean, uh, I had already created Oracle Linux database on top of that Oracle uh, 9.1 uh, Golden Gate software binaries have been installed in this host uh, lab gg one that host and uh, on Oracle Linux 8.2 I have already installed completed that one and next I am going to install target database server Oracle Linux 8.7.3 this is different version like Linux version only is different but the database and the, uh, Oracle Golden Gate binary version are the same ok so this is the setup I am going to do that source target database server ready I am going to configure the target database server in my next video I am going to demonstrate that golden gate unidirectional replication ok so let's go to the demo so for this tutorial I have collected the information from that reference link given references link this is I got it from oracle oracle.com ok so the demo we will see in my next video until then stay tuned and keep visiting oracle f1 channel please do subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon thank you thank you very much